Hello everyone. In this video, we will be solving a simple problem from the design of block brakes. Here you can see a block brake of drum radius 250 mm contacts with a symbol shoe. This one is the block and it sustains a torque of 200 Newton meter means the brake torque is uh, 200 Newton meter at the rated RPM of 750 and uh, the coefficient of friction this is actually mu so the value of mu is equal to 0.25 here we have to determine the normal force uh, on the shoe or on the block and we have to calculate the operating force that means the force which is required to be applied at the end of the lever for making contact between this uh, surfaces for uh, friction and uh, that is asked for in second case it is for clockwise rotation and in the third uh, case they are asking for the anti-clockwise rotation of the drum and also they are asking us to evaluate the heat generated because of this friction and in the last part the watt value of C, the C is missing, C that would make the brake self-locking. So we will be solving uh, one by one. So here uh, we know how to draw the direction of tangential force based on the direction of rotation and the for this given uh, configuration the required equations are given or uh, shown in the data book. So this one is corresponding to this geometry where the distance C is between the pivot and the uh, interface where friction happens or contact happens i think in the last video i have uh, marked c like this which was a mistake so actually c is this distance so that is clearly you can see in this figure also so uh, if your uh, if your drum is rotating in the clockwise direction so for the you know how to draw the free body diagram and finally we need the free body diagram of the lever on which the external force is to be applied then for the uh, clockwise rotation of the drum the a tangential frictional force ft will be coming so this is the direction for clockwise rotation of the drum and if it is rotating anti clockwise uh, direction then the tangential frictional force at the surface with respect to the block will be coming in this direction so this is for the anti clockwise rotation of the drum and whatever be the direction of rotation the uh, normal force will be coming towards the block of material which we will be calling as fn and the force to be applied and which is actually asked in the question which is known as operating force that we will be calling as f so for both clockwise and anti-clockwise rotation you can uh, find the required equations here so this one is for the clockwise rotation and the second one is for the anti-clockwise rotation so we will have to directly substitute all the values uh, in this problem for evaluating this um, operating force f so here the different dimensions are given the distance b that is here it is 250 mm a is also 250 mm and the distance c is 750 mm and the radius of the brake drum is also uh, 250 mm which are the given details and in first part we have to evaluate the normal force so here the brake torque is given so you are knowing the brake torque i can call it as torque t which is equal to the frictional force ft into r because uh, whatever be the direction of rotation frictional force will be acting at this uh, place and the perpendicular distance is r up to the center of rotation of this drum so the frictional torque will be equal to the tangential force into distance and you are having the tangential force is you can represent it by uh, mu times the normal force so the torque t is equal to mu into fn into r so here all the values are given torque is 200 newton meter and the coefficient of friction is 0.25 into fn is the unknown normal force we have to evaluate and r is the radius which is 250 mm or 0.25 meter so from this one you can evaluate the normal force so fn you will be getting the answer as 3200 newton you will be getting so this is the normal force fn and from this you can directly evaluate the tangential force which is actually required for solving the next sub parts so this normal force is 3200 newton so next you can evaluate the ft from here ft is equal to the coefficient of friction mu into normal force that will be equal to 1 by 4th or 0.25 into 3200 which is 800 newton so this is the tangential force and in the second part you have to evaluate this operating force operating force means this f which is to be applied at the end of the lever 
for both clockwise and anticlockwise so for uh, clockwise direction you can directly substitute onto this equation and for the anticlockwise you can directly substitute onto this one so all values we are having ft is 800 newton distance b is 250 mm or 0.25 meter distance a is 0.25 meter and mu is uh, 0.25 so c by b value also you can substitute then you will be getting the uh, operating force which are required for this uh, second and third part so if you are substituting here you will be getting 1480 newton and for the uh, counterclockwise rotation of this uh, drum then you will be getting the operating force f which is required as 1720 newton so these are the answer for the second and third case now we will be evaluating the heat generated because of the friction so this heat generator is actually the frictional work done because of this breaking action and this frictional work done you can evaluate it as frictional torque into the angular velocity of the drum against which the brake is being applied so this one you can consider it as frictional torque into the angular velocity in rpm 2 pi n by 60 so it is like 2 pi n t by 60 where the torque value was given in the question which is 200 newton meter and the n rated rpm at which this uh, drum is rotating is 750 rpm so you can substitute this one then you will be getting the frictional work done which is equal to 15.71 kilowatt that means this is equal to 15.71 kilo joules per second so this is kilo joules per second this is the answer for the uh, fourth one where, where they are asking about the heat generated and in last case they are asking the what value of c here one c is missing so c that means this distance c that would make the brake self locking so here the distance b are same 0.25 and a is also 0.25 meter but instead of c being 0 0.075 meter or 75 mm you have to evaluate the value of c that would make the brake self locking self locking means the braking action would happen without the help of any external force that means self locking means this applied force will be equal to zero so for self locking this f is equal to zero and based on that value you have to evaluate the dimension of c so if you are looking uh, onto this expression for the actuating force along operating force which is required for clockwise and anticlockwise so this f can be zero only for this clockwise rotation because here it is one by mu minus c by b is coming so for this clockwise direction of the drum only the self-locking condition will happen and for that case we have to evaluate the value of c at which this operating force is becoming zero so this will be happening when this term one by mu minus c by b will be becoming zero so with that you can solve this last part so one by mu minus c by b will be equal to zero so if you are solving then c will be equal to b divided by mu so distance b you are having 0.25 meter so it is 0.25 divided by mu which is 0.25 then this will be getting as 1 meter that means here initially c was given as 0 0.075 meter or 75 mm so if it is becoming 1 meter or 1000 mm then this breaking act will be happening without the help of any externally applied force that is known as self-locking condition and this is the complete solution of the problem so hope you understood and thanks for watching